Hi, this is Tua with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to put more than one operating systems into a USB drive on Linux. Creating a bootable USB on Linux to install any operating system is easy as pie. It usually involves reformatting the drive, flash the ISO, and then just boot it. But if you want to make another, you'll have to repeat the same process and lose the operating system already on the drive. This is why concept of multiboot USB exists. So you don't need to format the drive over and over. I'm not gonna lie, Ventoy is one of the best tools you can get. It supports legacy BIOS, UEFI with secure boot, ISO files larger than 4 gigs, MBR and GPT partition style, persistence mode, Microsoft Windows, and almost all Linux distributions. For the Windows version, it has handy graphical tool to make Ventoy even easier. Unfortunately, the Linux version comes with command line only. But don't worry, it's extremely easy to use. So, let's start by opening the web browser and grab the latest version. You can head to ventoy.net or simply open its official project on github.com. I put the link in the description down below. Scroll down a bit and click Ventoy Linux to download it. Save the file and click OK. It's finished. Now let's open the downloaded package using your favorite Linux file manager and extract it. Open the folder and you'll see the listed files that we will use to install Ventoy on the USB drive. So, let's continue by right-clicking on an empty space and choose Open in Terminal from the context menu. First, we need to find the USB drive name. I'm gonna use sudo fdisk space minus l to list the partition tables. As you can see, my USB drive name is devsdb. Once you figure it out, now let's execute the script with sudo dot slash ventoy to disk dot sh minus i, followed by your USB drive name. If you need to enable secure boot support, add argument s because the default setting is disabled. Press Y when it asks attention, you will install Ventoy to DevSDB. All the data on the drive will be lost, so please make sure to back up your date. Once the process finishes, your whole USB drive will be divided into two partitions in MBR format with EFI system partition FAT and the other one with the XFIT file system. Well, let me minimize the terminal window and open the flash drive. If you see a message unable to access Bentoy with the following message, it's because your system doesn't have XFIT fuse. So, let's go back to the terminal window and install it. Run sudo apt install xvid fuse to install the package from Ubuntu Universe repository. Now back to Nautilus file manager and recheck the USB flash drive. The error message should disappear, which means you can create a bootable USB drive by simply copying some ISO files onto the USB. No matter if they are Linux distributions or Windows 10, 8, 7 ISO files, Ventoy respect this. But to see if it works, I'm gonna put Pop OS 20.04, Elementary OS 5 Juno, and Windows 10 Home Single Language.
Finally, it's finished. Multiboot USB is now ready to use. Let's reboot the system and test this drive up.